Okay, good afternoon, folks. Folks, this is Larry Pesavento with your mid-morning update, update here at TFNN. And we can see stocks have down, but they've come back quite a bit. Uh, Dow Jones just rallied about 250 points off the bottom. Still down on the day, 200 points. S&P's down 40. NASDAQ's down 150. And the uh, Russell is down 12 and a half. We got gold and silver slightly higher. Uh, platinum, copper are a lot weaker. Uh, crude oil, uh, natural gas, all of the energy stuff is not looking very good. So those are a few of the things that we're paying close attention to here uh, today at uh, TFNN. Now, tomorrow, there's some economic data coming out that could be, you know, very, very interesting. So you want to try to f figure out what's going on there. Uh, regarding the news, uh, I understand that we are going to be supplying tanks to uh, Ukraine. But unfortunately, I heard the news that uh, we really don't have the tanks. It's going to take four to six months to build them. And then they've got to be shipped over there and people have to be trained on how to use them. So just more and more of the same, folks, whatever the news comes out. You really don't know what to think because you know why? I don't think they know either. But anyway, that's what we're looking at here today. That's why the market is selling off is the rumor that we're going to get more involved in a prolonged war like Vietnam. God help us if it is. Uh, that would destroy. Well, it's hard to, to pay for all this stuff because we're at the debt ceiling. The only thing they can do is increase the debt ceiling for the I think it's the second time, maybe. Maybe this month's the second time. Anyway, we've got a $2 trillion debt, folks, that has to be serviced by U.S. Treasury bonds. And as rates go up, it costs more to service that. So there's a quagmire of kicking the can down the road. Someday it's going to come to pay the pauper, and they're going to say, on the dollar bill, it's instead of saying, in God we trust, it's going to say, in God we trusted. So anyway, the markets are picking up speed here a little bit. So that's what we're paying attention to here so far this morning. So let's keep an eye on that, and we will uh, move on to the uh, next next thing we got here, and we'll see. Hold on a second, folks. I I have to uh, I have to make a slight adjustment here because we have uh, we it's very interesting, folks. We have just exceeded the the fifty percent retracement here in the S and P uh, on the day, and uh, that. Let's try that again. Yes, we did exceed the 50% the retracement on the S&P. So that tells us that, that we might even rally to be unchanged on the day. And there's a really good chance for that, folks. So we're going to go into that on the next segment uh, of the show because it hit some major numbers here this morning early in all of these markets. So this is what we're looking at. Live every day.